live. So then it's going to live stream it. Oh, the other thing was we want to hit record. So we'll go back here and then got it. We'll record to the cloud as well. So, you, so it's talking now because there's a slight delay. Right. But this URL then is what we use copy into to the, copy into the screen when you go to Rubella. So again, I would recommend doing two different laptops. So that one's on Rubella. So that one, on like just because like one could probably do it, but but you don't want to risk it. But like it would be very hard unless you have a super big monitor to and, yeah, and why risk it of okay, we're gonna run the projector and the uh, camera and the microphone and Rebella all off of the same one computer. And then the email from earlier, I had Dave send me the special yeah. magic code. I so I will, and I wrote it down. So everything is happening in the, is it happening in the office or is it happening on like the main campus? It is happening, oh, like where the Alas is taking place? Uh, in a, uh, in Verbella, I mean. In Verbella, it's happening in their team suite. Okay. So I think that's where it's happening. So they... I know the actual events in Cuyahoga Falls. Correct. But that's a good point of clarification is, I know where the meet space location is, but where is the virtual? So it's, I wrote it just down. It's the Verbella. Or I wrote a spot that said Rebella, but then right. I didn't pull it up real quick. It's capital A Ashland. Team suite is A Ashland. And then capital P, mm -hmm. capital D, capital S 2020. So, so then we go here, copy that, and go back to Rebella. I only ever open it when I'm doing this demo, so I got to patch probably for a while. But then when this loads, you just lock your little virtual body over to a screen and then hit paste. Do you know, have they made any integration for like game controllers on PC? With, with Rubella? Rubella? I don't know. I would assume that they probably so, would. Off like off topic, but my my vision of this when I when after I was in it for the first time, I was like, okay, so like VR goggles and a controller, mm -hmm. and then uh, you have you have the whole space. Okay, cool. We can assume that graphics and uh, processing in the next five years is going to get better mm -hmm. uh, from what it currently is, and then you can just do any any type of event. And then people yeah. can walk around, and because I found running in the WASD to be. A little tricky on yeah. my computer. There was there's another one that I saw where they did it and they actually took a step backward and it was all like Pokemon Red era graphics. <laughs> you are you are on a two dimensional and you literally walked in you know square tiles to go to where you wanted to go. And that one I thought was pretty novel. But that's, yeah, that's it's fun. Yeah, they they predict that will, but it's not going to catch on until they get some decent augmented reality stuff where it's just overlaid. Yeah. So it'll be more Star Wars holograms at that point. But let's do... It won't be too long before they make it easy enough to use two to three cameras arranged correctly to be able to mimic a hologram. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We'll, see, we'll see that in our lifetimes, I'm sure of it. All right. So here we are. We'll go to Team Suite. Settings. Sweet. No, it's not. That ain't it. I think it is the go to button. That you oh, go to, you're right. Go to, go to campuses, meeting rooms. Oh, there is a place. Go to private oh, team suite. Passcode, which I have. I don't remember the passcode right here. All right, so then we drive our little body over to here. And then this is probably from where we did it the last time. It'd be weird if it was the same link as last time and then <laughs> and you already saw and it. And then I already like it, like I don't think it's, I don't think it generates the same link every time. Yeah. So 
It seems dream key maybe, but. So there we go. So now you have it that's broadcasting live in Verbella. Cool. Did you automate it um, full screen or did you have to like it, click it, within the window? It did that automatically. It made it full screen. So this is. That was one of the things I like, wondered earlier was whether I was going to need to find like the actual source link. Oh, yeah. And like, and like do some weird the HTML and take yeah, like, right. I only need the, the, the embed code or whatever. Embed code or whatever what have you. But no, this is great. Yeah. So and and that's it. That's the whole process from start to finish. So I, so the um, what was I going to say? So there, yeah. There's the the PA system is downstairs, but I'll be there Friday to help set that up. It's just a, it's a nice one actually. It's just like a like a line array system. So it's like got it's like more tall and skinny than your traditional like square PAs, okay. and then they have XLR cables and they have um. I think two handheld mics that come with it. And so we would just take those and put one on a podium or have it there if you have a speaker that wants to walk mm -hmm. and talk. And then they did want to do a panel discussion at one point. So I have a boundary mic that I was going to bring. So then that way we could just set that on so whatever the table they want to and then make sure that the, obviously the speaker wasn't pointed too close to that. But then they'll have all of the different gear that they need. So the boundary mic would work for the PA system specifically and not feed. Yes, into... that would be, that would just be PA system. Yeah, so, okay. the, so nothing that is happening with the PA system is going to touch the computer. Okay. The way that we're getting the audio is just, just, just the, the blue desktop microphone, which arguably isn't the way to do it. Arguably, you would want some kind of, you know, desktop mixer, and then you could run an audio cable out from that too. But that and, gives you more freedom in terms of where stuff is positioned in the room. Yeah, for the sake of simplicity. Um, you're not making it any more complicated than it already is. So where I anticipate this stream setup being is sort of, if that is the screen mm -hmm. and the podium is here, then the projector is here and the computer running the video stream is all, all relatively. All just set up like, in a, on a cause they have the one thing the venue has in spades is tables. So they'll set you up a six foot square table anywhere you want with a cover with a skirt and everything. Cool. So I just right in front of the projector, you know, an appropriate throw distance away. Then, um, and so the, the projector here is, it's got a brand new bulb in it. So okay. it's got, you know, 3000 hours. Short throw. I don't know that it's a short throw. I think it's just a throw. Okay. Like it doesn't, yeah, it's not one of like the ultra short throws. Yeah, yeah. And short throw, this is, yeah, this is just a regular projector, but okay. it's a big room, so that shouldn't be a problem in terms of you should be able to get an appropriate through distance. And it's just got a single adjustment for height. The one thing that's nice about it when I booted it up the, when we were the last time to try it out is it auto key steps. Uh, so yeah, you just yeah. point it at the wall and then it'll and it's HDMI so like adjust. Yeah, it's got it's, it's got what do you call it 1920 by 1080. 1080 yeah. So they'll have plenty of resolution for what you may need it to do. And it's plenty bright that you can see it even if the lights are on. You know, obviously it's better to dim the lights a little bit. Yeah. But it's pretty stock standard in terms of projectors. We do have a cool one, which is a laser one as well. But I want a new uh, laser projector for the Vito. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, there's, there's mainly so because cool. of uh, President Campo's events. Um, this is really the only one that uses the projector um, yep. on a regular basis. Yep. Um, it's good to have, it's better than replacing bulbs all the time. I hate replacing those bulbs. Yeah, me too. And it's just more flexible. And like I figured, we got a new pro new projector now. In 10 years, it would have paid for itself in the amount of maintenance and yep. uh, all the time and requests and yep. everything. Well, that's the, that's the thing that we've seen is like, the same thing with Zoom rooms and like, uh, like for example, Upper Convo is a good one. Where Upper yeah. Convo, you've got to, you know, it's sort of like uh, B B Y, bring your own stuff, you know, in terms mm -hmm. of setting everything up. Whereas if it was equipped with ceiling mics and a camera and a projector and a screen and everything, then you could just have events there, yeah. and you wouldn't, and you'd save a lot of time and energy in terms of trying to, you know, bring everything over on little tripods and folded tables. So I really like what we're doing with the Alaska. 
And chances are you'd save money in labor too. Correct. Yes. Yes. In terms of having everything, you know, set up, it's always cheaper The because if you want to hire somebody to sit and, you know, do third party video production or support like that, mm -hmm. or like even just for a PA system, the, um, what do you call it? the hotel wanted like something like, I don't know, 500,000, about something like that. Like, oh my God. You, could, you could buy a PA system for that much and then bring it with you. You could buy a PA system every time and then it'd still be less than what they wanted. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's the thing is, you know, with businesses, they just, you know, you have a blank check to do that kind of stuff. You know, it's just, they write it off as an expense and it can be, doesn't matter if it's a yeah. trillion dollars, they'll still do it. So that is everything. If cool. you have. Yeah, so Zoom, Zoom on one computer and then 